South Korea transitioned quickly from one of the world's poorest countries to an OECD member. The major pillar of this change was the electronics sector. With the industry marking its 60th anniversary, the country's biggest annual electronics show kicked off today. Lee kyung un tells us more. This is where a 60-year miracle began. Back in 1959, the only electronic device in South Korea was the radio. But now it boasts an extraordinary spectrum and quality of technology, from AI to semiconductors. Marking the 60th anniversary of the country's electronic sector, the annual Korea Electronics Show kicked off in COEX. South Korea's tech industry is facing a number of threats, including the ongoing U.S.-China trade spat and Japan's export curves. But this year's Korea Electronics Show is again a bustling event, with South Korea showing it is still the global powerhouse of innovation. Booths have been set up by some 500 local firms at the center of this innovation. The tech giants Samsung and LG are displaying the world's first foldable smartphone and rollable TV. And startups have brought out their original products, including a mirror that uses facial recognition AI to check the user's health. Running through this Friday, the show is expected to attract more than 70,000 visitors, and they say this event is special. I see a lot of uh, innovative products here. And, uh, there's not a lot of like vendors, but the vendors are selling uh, different products, so that's good to see. The Chinese products, everyone was selling the same thing, and uh, they had the same unit price. There was no difference. There was a lot of competition, so I didn't get a lot of you know, uh, interest from that. These technologies not only benefit the lives of ordinary people, but also national security. We've teamed up with the defense ministry to make car relays that replace mechanical switches with semiconductor switches. This way, they're much lighter, safer, and cheaper for both vehicles and tanks. Thanks to these technologies, the electronic sector has been the country's biggest export for 30 consecutive years. Now South Korea's next task is to continue the momentum. With global competition and external threats increasing, South Korean Prime Minister Lee nak in speech at the show, stressed the importance of trilateral cooperation. Joint cooperation among the government, conglomerates and startups is critical for South Korea to maintain its advantage in the global race for innovation, particularly in localizing the production of parts and equipment while diversifying trade partners. The show is expected to contribute to achieving those goals by providing a platform that brings together interest groups from home and abroad. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.